well, well, well. Three really ratty uh, injectors. But we could make another setup if that one on the bench is okay. So I'm going to just quickly put these through the parts washer, change the battery on the camera. Um, we don't want to put dirt into there, but it's kind of easy to get out. Alrighty, back again. So I put these through the parts washer, get all the muck off. And when you're cleaning off the nozzles, blow blow across this way. Don't blow that way because you push all muck in it. If you blow across this way, it'll uh, suck all the muck out. I don't know why. It's something to do with Britain Grand Decimal. Now again, I haven't set this up. This is just purely uh, an afterthought. Let's see what these do. Eighty. Don't worry about that. It's a little bit of air gets in them at the beginning. One twenty. Oh. Yes. So jet look. Look at that. Now look at that. See how it's squirting. See how the. Oh. I've got to get a cameraman. I've got to pay for somebody to do this. Wait a minute. Where is it now? Where's the injector? There it is. Pay attention to this one. Right, you see this one? I'll shout it out. 100. These are all in bars. Look at that. 110, dribbling. Look at that. 110. But look at the pattern. When I uh, blow it. Now I'm going to lock up the the gauge, so it's not on the gauge, it's actually just blowing straight out the uh, injector and see what happens. That's a really heavy pattern. You see that? Okay, so that, that nozzle needs cleaning. Or the seat needs lapping in. It's not right. Let's have a look at another one. This all goes to right all to show that uh, why mis the, the misfire and the don't start very well. Right, here we go again. Again, no setting up. Oh, we'll back off the gauge. Here we go. 80. 100. 110. 120. 130. Oh. 130. What's the pattern like? Again, dribbly look. Look at that. Look at that. All over the place. No good. <clears throat> Let's put this one on. I haven't, I haven't adjusted the camera. I'm just just going to change it on. Right. Here we go. But the spring pressures were right. The burst pressure's right, but the jet was wrong. A little bit of air, 180, uh, 80, 100, 120, coming up. Look, see? That's why your diesel smoke and that's why they won't start. At least my walls get a good. Do some pumps, and you can see the nozzle on this one, because these jets, because these nozzles have a a two-stage jet. There's one that fires this way, one fires this way, and you can see the one that fires this way is going okay. I'll have to hurry up because my battery's going flat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them to bits and clean them. See what happens in the bead blaster. How violent can you get? Don't worry, I didn't really bead blast all the uh, needle and things like that. I didn't touch those, but I've I've got one now all put back together. I big blasted all the exterior surfaces and things like this. But for the nozzle, where have I put it now? Oh. Our old friend, the oven cleaner. <laughs> Soaked it in oven cleaner a little while, and then a couple of minutes in the hot water of the ultrasonic, cleaned it out, and what's the difference? Well, here we go. Are you, are you watching? I'm sick of this, I wish I had a bit more space, but anyway, look, let's go. So there's a hundred pound, a uh, hundred uh, bar, 120, 130, 140, 
Any dribbles? Nothing. 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Now, why is it 200? Because I just screwed the cap on and I didn't know where it was. So, where's my little screwdriver gone? Where's my little screwdriver? Ah, here it is. Here, here. So, let's back that down a bit to something reasonable. Here we go. Oh, now what's leaking out of there? Oh, it's this here. I'm take it up properly. There we go. 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 160, wait a minute, 167. Try it again, let it drop down a bit. So 100, 120, oh, 125, oh, 137. On the money, on the money, 137, a good spray pattern, wait a minute, I'm trying to adjust my camera, <laughs> I'll be under all covered in diesel now, how this camera manages to cope with all the diesel I do not know, like my lungs, here we go, now it has got a little bit of a jet but you can see it's, it's not dribbly, and there's no jets of fuel. That's a good one, in my opinion. <laughs> Do you know something? I might even take me, might even take me forklift injectors out and have a go at them. Right. So we found out that the other injectors. Where have we gone now? Oh, getting tired of this. The other injectors weren't so good. Can we take them apart, clean them in the oven cleaner and in the ultrasonic? and make them live again because I think they've just got carboned up well I'm over the moon with this <laughs> I'll have to go and have a lie down so after a jolly afternoon of cleaning I cleaned all the four nozzles up and I got two to work these uh, when I looked at the tips of these they look pretty uh, well it's clean but let's have a look and see what the pattern's like I've set them all up to 137 but they are blowing off kind of nice but when you put put more pressure in them they're, they're, they're not squirting even like they used to do if you can see it in fact know that see it's more of a sort of a jet type of thing um, could you lap the seats in? well I suppose it could do you've got some super fine compound who knows? Who knows the secret of the black magic books? Yeah, look at that one. Did you see it do a jet? Look at it, see? It's not even, it's coming out the it's coming out the side. I mean it would get you. I mean there were, if you were in uh, if you're in the back of beyond and you wanted to get away, well they'll sort of they'll work, but not very efficiently. So we need two. Uh, we need two nozzles, which isn't too bad, is it? That was good. Hey, wait a minute. I've got an old nozzle here, uh, an old injector off my um, old Jeep. Let's go and have a look at that. 